For a long time, HTML and CSS was more than enough to create pretty good websites, but that all changed when phones and tablets became commonplace. A website that's clear and easy to use on a big monitor with a keyboard and a mouse might not be easy to use on a small touchscreen. So that's when responsive websites became popular. With responsive websites, the design and the layout of the website changes depending on what type of device you are using to view the website. Have a look at this web page. When I view the web page in a wide window, then I have three paragraphs arranged in three columns. But when I make the window narrower, for example, if I would be looking at it on a phone, then the paragraphs are stacked vertically. I didn't need to write two separate websites to implement this. I just used the bootstrap framework. This code shows you how I wrote this web page. We don't need to look too much in the technical side of things right now, but as you can see, I have a link to the bootstrap framework in the head of the document. And I have a number of class attributes in my elements, which tell the bootstrap framework how I want these elements to behave. For example, I have a class named container and a class named row and a class named call sm4. Like I said, we don't need to go into the technical details for now. We're going to learn more about how this works in a future video. So what's Bootstrap Studio? Bootstrap Studio is a drag and drop website editor. The user interface is used to create the layout and the formatting of the website in much the same way that one would use a word processor to write a report. We click and drag elements like headings, paragraphs, pictures, links, toolbars, etc. into place. By the way, you can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. The Bootstrap software will then create all the necessary HTML, CSS and the Bootstrap code for you. And that's all the background information that we need to get started learning about Bootstrap Studio in the next chapters. See you then. Bye bye. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.